Today is January 31st, which means tomorrow is February. Black History Month is coming up in February. You can start the celebration with an African American reading, which incorporates reading, poetry, storytelling, song, so much more. We're going to hear more about this big event. We have Lafitte, Gert Lafitte from the Tolmanville Public Library. We have uh, Elder McKinday Bolahan, the founder of the United Childhood Enlightenment Program. And we also have Arthur Mack here, an author of multiple books. Books. Great to have all of you right here on Studio hey, 10. Great to be here, Joe. Yeah. All right, so so excited to talk about all that's going on. We'll start with you. So tell us a little bit about when and where this is all taking place and what the folks need to know about it. Okay, it starts on February 3rd mm -hmm. uh, and it goes through February 6th. On February 3rd and 6th, we have evening programs. So that program is from um, 5.30 until 7.30. And then the 4th and the 5th, our morning programs. Those morning programs began at 9.30 and they end at 11. Um, the different uh, times of day is because of this. We have uh, mostly adults attend mm -hmm. the, the evening programs with their children maybe. Um, the morning programs are dedicated pretty much to uh, daycare mm -hmm. and elementary uh, school. Uh, we have uh, Dixon Total Touch, that'll be a part of the uh, daycare and early early sc elementary school. And then Holloway will be on um, that thir uh, the fourth uh, as an elementary school. So they'll perform, and after they perform, we have stories and cultural things that we talk to them about. The first um, program on the third and the sixth, again, we have a few young people that are on, younger people that are on <laughs> that <laughs> program, um, but mostly it's adults. And um, we have authors, we have, um, we have a, one of them here. Well, let, let's get mm -hmm. to some of them here and talk mm -hmm. about that in a second. So McKinda, we're gonna get to this at the end of this segment, but first show me that instrument that you brought down there underneath the table. Uh, this is called a shaker and uh, basically it's a musical instrument and it basically go with some of the folk songs like Tumba Mile, Tumba Mile Oba, Tumba Mile, Tumba Mile Oba, Tumba Mile, Tumba Mile. So How great is that? <laughs> that is great. So we're going to come back to you for the next instrument in just a bit. But we want to talk to Arthur here, too, about your books that you've written. Tell us what you have there, Arthur. Well, um, Joe, I have four books here. Uh, the first one is entitled Dignity Before Dollars. Mm -hmm. All right. The second one is entitled Tales from the Black Side. Mm -hmm. The next one is entitled Conflicted. Mm -hmm. And the last one that I wrote is Solomon Fletcher. Now, uh, the first one I wrote, Dignity Before Dollars, um, I was inspired to write it by, by an incident I had uh, many years ago. Mm -hmm. And it took me quite a while to write it because uh, trying to uh, do a novel by conventional means is kind of tough. So I went through the route of self-publishing. And when I finally got you know, finished with the novel, it was really a great load off of my shoulders. Mm -hmm. Well, let me tell you something, y'all. I, I could listen to y'all all day for this program. We only have a certain amount of time, but that's why you want to come on out to the events that are taking place February 3rd through 6th. Is that correct? 3rd through 6th. We have all the information online, the Studio 10 tab at fox10tv.com. But as promised, before we go to commercial break here, McKinday, tell us what this is and play us out to break here. This is called a karumba, and it's similar to an Af American xylophone. Mm -hmm. And uh, it's an instrument that they uh, enjoy doing festivals and other ceremonies that they have in Africa. All right, looking forward to this. Take a listen, y'all. Go ahead. Studio 10. Don't miss the event, y'all. All the information is online. Great job.